Show debuts on uh, Travel Channel, what, uh, Friday, Friday evening. 21st. Yeah, A Haunting in the Heartland. Yeah. And we're joined by the host of the show right now, Steve Shippy. Hey, Steve. Hey, Steve. Hey, how you doing? Let's get this out of the way right now, okay? You're a rapper. Right, let's do it. You're a rapper, and your rap name is Prozac. I love it. Yep, that's right. <laughs> when did you start? You grew up in Michigan. When did you start that? Uh, as far as uh, my career in music, I started around, I would say, 1993. Okay. All right. So right around that time, we're talking, you know, Eminem, 8 Mile, Kid Rock, all that stuff was happening right around you, right? Absolutely. And that's, is that, was that part of, like, uh, you know, your reasoning for getting into it? That scene was hot at that time? Um, yeah, that was part of it. Um, there was a, a lot of different scenes in, uh, in Michigan specifically that kind of got me uh, in, into the, the scene of hip-hop. That's pretty cool stuff. And now, now, how did you? I, I, I'm reading in your bio. You did a bunch of uh, documentaries over the year. You grew up in a creepy house on the corner of the street. You were experienced hauntings growing up. So this stuff has been around you since a young age. Yes, absolutely. My childhood home was was you know indeed haunted and dealt with a lot of uh, very strange paranormal occurrences in that house. I'm a person who believes that this stuff, uh, it goes to certain people. Certain people have these experiences for whatever reason. I, I, I can't say why it is. Why do you think you've had these experiences? Well, you know, honestly, my, my theory is, uh, you know, this, t- this type of stuff can happen to anybody. Uh, a lot of times it's what's happened in the home or on the land, on the property itself. And uh, we had some pretty strange uh Things happen in our, in, in our home uh, before we moved into it, and I think that really attributed to the activity that we experienced. Now, why is it called Haunting in the Heartland, the new show? Is it it's all Heartland stories? I mean, you're not going to be on the east and west coast? No. Uh, predominantly, we stay to the Midwest or the, or the southern Midwest and the Heartland region of the country. And now, that, I, I would think that's that's an interesting good angle because, you you know, we're, for, we're New England. New England gets, uh, you know, the lion's share of these types of uh, documentaries and stories. And we don't hear a lot about uh, the Midwest. Yeah, it's actually it's pretty much unexplored uh, in a lot of different ways. The, the Heartland's very rich in folklore and and uh, and tales and and things of that nature. A lot of haunted communities, which is uh, very different than singular homes or properties. Now, uh, the first episode is called "The Watchman" uh, can you, or "Watchman." Can you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, sure. The first episode took place in uh, Merrill, Michigan, which is in Saginaw County, virtually my backyard. And a young family decided to renovate and rehab an old general store to make it their dream home. And shortly after moving into the property, they began experiencing a slew of activity, uh, even including scratches and physical attacks. See, that's a problem. I'm not, I'm not for that. <laughs> I'm against <a> that. <laughs> By the way, Steve Shippey joining the show. He's the new host of the Travel Channel uh, series, Haunting in the Heartland, debuts this Friday night. February the 21st on Travel at 10 p.m. Uh, you know, I just got a call from somebody, you know, working with the Travel Channel. Here they want go. me to host a show over here. I'm just I'm just telling you, we might be running into each other at some of these, you know, TV <laughs> things. Oh, what, kind of, what kind of show is it? I can't say. You know how these things work. Come on, Steve. You know better than that, Prozac. <laughs> yeah, I, I tried. I tried. I tried. <laughs> Well, this is exciting stuff. Is there anything, uh, you know, that you want to tell us about? Like, what's different about your show? Because there's a lot of these haunted shows on television. What makes you and your show special? You know, the one thing that we really focused on, you know, obviously we touched on the fact that the Heartland's pretty unexplored territory, but we're looking for community-based hauntings, uh, whole towns that are affected by this activity, and then really looking for the bigger picture and the patterns to emerge through diligence and history, boots on the ground, canvassing the community. Uh, that, that's the type of hauntings that we basically specialized uh, in this series. And I think that's you know, pretty groundbreaking in its own sense. Yeah, and I think that's the trend. Is It's finally coming. You know, Back in the day, when it was, whether it was UFOs or whether it was Bigfoot or whether it was hauntings, you know, they just throw a camera on any individual who says they saw something. Now it's coming to a place where it's like, well, we have some legitimate cases here where you have all these independent eyewitnesses, and those are the kind of stories that people should be focusing on, is where, how did all these separate people experience this one thing? Absolutely, and plus, you know, we live in a day and age now, too, where, you know, cell phones, you know, videos are, you know, video cameras are everywhere, um, so there's a lot of a lot of proof now being captured like never before, and, and people are actually seeking this thing out, so a lot more credible uh, with, you know, eyewitness claims, a lot more credible evidence, and kind of building that data database of what are these things.
Steve Shippey, I dig what you're doing. We are excited about this. Friday night, everybody go check it out on the Travel Channel. Debuts at 10 p.m. Friday night, February the 21st on the Travel Channel. The show is called Haunting in the Heartland. And now, before we let you go, where can I go listen to uh, your music? Because i got to get my hands on Prozac tracks. Absolutely. Um, anywhere you purchase music, uh, you can stream it on Spotify. Uh, you can buy it on iTunes. Anywhere that you purchase or stream music, you can find my stuff. Did you hang up your mic or are you doing both? I'm still doing both for sure. And then, of course, my Haunted Saginaw film series, uh, which is all available on Amazon Prime. You're the man, Steve Shippey. We dig it. We appreciate you coming on the show. Now, here's the thing that happens with these things. Everybody on their way up comes on the show. And then after your show is a success, you know, we got to break our neck to to, to call you. So why don't you hang on? Because I'm not letting you off the hook. Hang on the line. (laughs) We're going to end this segment, and I'm going to get your information in case, you know, because we can have you on as a paranormal correspondent. What if if he doesn't want to give it to you? That's too bad. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Steve, thank you so much. Haunting in the heartland. Hang on the line for us, okay? All right, sure. All right. 827 right now. He's going to tell you to go fish. (laughs) We'll see. All right. Ethan and Lou, I-95. Kevin Pryor.